Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand optimized bubble sort algorithm. The concept of bubble sort and the working mechanism of a bubble sort has been clearly explained in our previous videos. If you haven't watched that videos, those videos, please watch those videos and come back here because this entire class is based upon the assumption that you have already watched those videos. Without watching those videos, you may not be able to understand what we're going to discuss in this class. And every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now coming to this class let's analyze let's understand the optimized bubble sort algorithm so the demerits of bubble sort algorithm is so even though this uh, elements are getting arranged in the sorted order after the elements even though the uh, uh, after the elements are getting arranged in the sorted order then also some iterations are made which is of no use which is of waste of time, uh, right? So, which we have already discussed in our previous videos. In our previous video, we have taken the same example and there we have said that at the iteration at i is equal to 5, at i is equal to 5, uh, at i is equal to 5, this entire array came into, uh, 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 this uh, uh, entire array is arranged in the sorted order. After that also, after that also, the standard bubble sort algorithm is iterating the next iterations, is doing the next iterations, which is, which is of no use. Now, in order to overcome this, that disadvantage, there are a little changes were made in the algorithm, so that the algorithm is going to stop as and when the, uh, as and when the elements are in the sorted order. So, what are those changes are? Those changes are marked in the red. Simple changes, uh, simple changes. Let's try to uh, 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 understand them. So here we have taken a variable called swapped is equal to false. So here in this algorithm, this is the optimized algorithm. Here we have taken swapped is equal to false, and uh, as and when as and when uh, we are going to come into this for loop the inner for loop and here whenever a swapping happens whenever a swap happens whenever this is going to happen this happens to be true a of j is greater than a of j j plus one happens to be true what we are doing is we we will swap and whenever the swap happens we are going to turn this swap is equal to true we are going to turn this swap is equal to true which means that swapping has happened as the swapping happened means uh, so there are some values there are some numbers which are in the unsorted order if if the swapping has not happened see here at i is equal to 5 these elements are arranged in the sorted order in the in the in the in the next iteration where i is equal to 6 what happens does any swapping happens no see here so at i is equal to 5 all the elements got arranged in the sorted order now when the value of i is equal to 6 when the value of i is equal to 6 in this for loop this for loop uh, in the iteration of this for loop uh, we uh, we will never go into this if condition we will never go into this if, if condition because a of j is uh, a of j greater than a, a of j plus 1 is never going to have is never going to be true it means that there is no need for us to swap because the elements are already in the sorted order try to get that point that is the point that you have to understand as the elements are not are, are, are already there in the sorted order there is no need for us to come into this for loop so uh, the, into this if condition and this swapping never happens which means that this swapped variable will always remain false this swap swapped variable will remain false so if the swap is equal to false so after the iteration of the sixth iteration uh, at i is equal to six after this entire for loop got iterated swapped is equal to true we can we are not going to change this swap is equal to true so the swap would remains false okay so we are not going to come into this if condition so the swap will remain false Try to get that point so after after coming out of this for loop if swapped is equal to false it means that there is no need for us to do the further iterations we are going to break as and when the break got get exist 
uh, get executed we are going to come out of this for loop this for loop we are going to come out of this for loop in which loop the break break got executed that we are going to come out of this out of that loop as this part of the algorithm this part of the this lines of code are getting executed in this for loop so as and when the break got executed we are going to come out the the, the algorithm execution will stop okay so that is that is what the extra step that are getting added as and when the algorithm as and when the elements are getting in the sorted order or are, are, are arranged in the sorted order or arranged in the sorted order further iterations or op, uh, further we are not going to do the further iterations which is of no use so this is what we call it as optimized so this is the optimized form of the bubble sort in the previous class we have seen the general form of the bubble sort general form of the bubble sort where this swapped variable is not included this is the video where the bubble sort is very much optimized when compared to our previous algorithm okay so and the efficiency of this bubble sort is big o of n square in the worst case it is going to iterate for big o of n square and in the best case it is going to iterate for uh, uh, n number of times okay bubble sorts original bubble sort if the elements are already there in the arranged in the sorted order so it is going to iterate for uh, big o of uh, n time it is going to iterate so this is all about uh, optimized bubble sort hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share the this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching